What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Guillermo Rigando signs with Al Heyman. And uh, a lot of people said that uh, his career was done after the Loma fight. Uh, I tend to, you know, I'm one of the type of people who, uh, I give people the benefit of the doubt when it comes to boxing, man. You know, when guys say they injured or guys say this might have happened or that might have happened. I know a lot of people, they'll just beat you up and say you're lying. <laughs> I'm the type of guy, I, I, you know, I do a lot of sports, man, a lot of sports. I, you know, I like boxing, training with boxing, just, uh, because I've had some shoulder injuries from basketball, so I just like the what boxing does for your shoulders as far as moving moving your arms so much and, you know, giving it some resistance and stuff like that, uh, just to rehab my shoulders. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the sports, man, and doing different sports and, and acquiring injuries, you know, you got to give these guys some type of leeway, man. Especially when, they, when you sign something and then you get hurt after the fact, you really don't get an excuse in boxing. You know, there's no reschedule or <laughs> uh, I need an extra week. It's we going on the, the fight date. And that's that's it. So if you got hurt, you know, three weeks after you signed a fight, you just end it, man. Unless you cancel, which uh, if you cancel, I, you know, a lot of fighters don't cancel fights. But if you cancel a fight, then, you know. In some instances, your career could be done because there's a lot of money put up surrounding these fights. And, you know, people don't like cancellations. You know what I'm saying? People just don't like them. They look at you like you, you're scared. You know, there, there's some type of intimidation factor going on more than there might be an injury. But I tend to look at it like, man, you know, when you when, when it has to do with boxing, man, uh, a toe injury could change the dynamic of a fight. A finger injury could change, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 a nail becoming dislodged in a, a hurtful place where you can't throw a punch a certain way. You know, in boxing, there's a lot of factors that go into boxing to where, you know, one small thing could change the whole dynamic of a fight. So, like I said, I'm the type of guy who, because I do a lot of sports, I tend to give, you know, people within sports more leeway, especially boxing, a lot more leeway. Than uh, other people tend to, you know, just because I do, <clears throat> I do do a lot of sports, and I know how it feels to be hurt and try to do something, especially playing basketball. Man, I've told my ankles up and shoulders up, <laughs> but I still go play. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what I like to do. I love basketball. You know, I'm, I'm finding a passion for boxing in the same way. I've never been in the ring, but you know, with a challenger, but uh, I just find. Uh, a passion in boxing, you know, training within boxing. Maybe one day I will try my hand at a fight. Never know. But uh, Guillermo, as far as Guillermo really know, returning, man, and his loss to Loma, I don't feel like that was such a, you know, it's his first loss ever in his career, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, and it wasn't like he got knocked out, you know. He just, at some, to me, he just at some point decided, you know, I can't perform. There's no need to keep embarrassing myself. You know what I'm saying? There were two things was going to happen in that fight if he kept going. Either he was going to get knocked out eventually because he wasn't winning and he wasn't looking good at all. You know, Regan though normally looks spectacular, even though people say he's boring. It's because he makes the other guy look horrible. You know, his skill set is just that high at the weight class he was in. Uh, you, can, you can say he shouldn't have moved up, but at the weight class he was in, he made guys look lesser than normal. <laughs> It's because his skill set is so high, you know, at, at, at boxing, you know what I'm saying? You can't take that away from it, man, just because he lost, he has one loss on this record now. Or he lost to Loma in the, in the fashion that he did. Look at it, like I said, look at it like uh, he uh, he just didn't want to be embarrassed anymore. Whether it was his hand that was keeping him from performing the way he normally performs, or it was the fact he smoked too many cigarettes, <laughs> Or it might be because Loma's just that good at, at what was they fight that one twenty seven that you know it just made him look the way it made him look average you know whether his hand was hurt or not and but uh, I give boxers credit when they decide you know it's it's no need for me to keep getting embarrassed and eventually be knocked out let me just bow out and give this guy a victory he won already anyway well I take punishment for six or seven more rounds. 
when you know you're not going to win anyway. You know? <laughs> it don't make a lot of sense to me, but, you know, you, you tend to find a lot of boxers do that, you know. And at the end of the day, you still lost. Got your butt whooped worse. You're embarrassed now. And the the fact that you got beat up so bad, you know, you, you probably got some type of damage to your body to where your career is never going to be the same. So tip your hat to Rigano for realizing, like, man, you know, if I want to continue within the sport of boxing, I, I, I might as well bow out. You know, it's better than being knocked out. Is, is bowing out of a fight better than being knocked out of a fight? To me it is. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you only got one loss. Take that L and move on. You're going to lose anyway. So Especially in that type of fight, you're going to lose anyway. Why I get beat up? You know what I'm saying? It was it embarrassing for him to know Moss? Would you rather know Moss or be, be a Pacquiao Marquez? <laughs> What's more embarrassing? You know, going face first, I just saying I don't want to fight no more. He won. Oh well, I still got paid. Yeah, you know, give Regan though some uh, some credit. Yeah, he's saying with Al Heyman, he got some more fights lined up. He might not lose again within his career. He, you know, he might come in and guys think he's washed up now. He might just show he still got his skill set. Regan though, I mean uh, Loma was just a better fighter on that night. Whatever factors played in. To where he lost, Loma, Loma won that night. And I'm still Regan though, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm still Rigo. I can still go and I can still, you know, put guys down and make guys look uh, lesser than normal. So, uh, big shout out to Guillermo Regan though for uh, making his deal, man. Uh, making his uh, return to boxing. I heard he's coming back on the Deontay Wilder, I believe it is, undercard. So uh, I'll probably be checking, streaming that fight, you know what I'm saying? Finding some way to stream it. <laughs> Definitely ain't paying for it. Hopefully it's on free TV, but I, I believe it's a pay-per-view fight. And uh, that's Ali Land Boxing Talk for, for now, folks. Might get back at you later. It's your boy Cardinal Red, and we at it.